Hi guys, I'm Dr. Shivika. Welcome to my channel, Microbiology Prep by Dr. Shivika. So if you are new here, I welcome you. And if you have returned back to my channel, I welcome you back. So today I'm going to be giving you a very, very high yield list of buzzwords for infectious diseases. This is part one of a series of videos. Possibly I'm going to be putting up at least two more similar videos on different buzzwords for infectious diseases. Now, these are very, very important. Uh, this is a very important list for any kind of exam that you're taking. It could be FMG, NEET or NEXT, or it could be even for your university exams. Now, on strategic slides, I have put up some relevant images. On the others where they are, it is not needed, I have skipped putting the images. So let's get started. So if you have a patient who is presented with osteomyelitis in a, and this patient is a patient of sickle cell anemia or it could be any kind of any chronic hemolytic anemia like thalassemia or hereditary spherocytosis, the likely agent causing that osteomyelitis is salmonella species. If we have a patient with functional or anatomical asplenia, then the pathogens which can cause disease in such patients are encapsulated bacteria, specifically Streptococcus pneumoniae, Haemophilus influenzae, and Neisseria meningitidis. If we have symptoms of bilateral adrenal hemorrhages, that is called as Waterhouse Fredrickson syndrome, so it's a septicemia which has led to symptoms like lowered uh, blood pressure, hyponatremia, hyperkalemia then the likely agent causing that septicemia is Neisseria meningitidis. Patient presenting with rash on palms and soles could be either infected with rickettsia rickettsii, which causes rocky mountain spotted fever, or it could be treponema pallidum, which causes syphilis, so specifically in secondary stage of syphilis, or it could be Coxsackie viruses, which cause hand, foot, mouth disease. A neonate presenting with a rash that looks like blueberry muffin, the likely agent causing that congenital infection in the neonate is rubella virus. A child presenting with erythema on both the cheeks, that is called as a slap cheek rash, the likely agent causing this is parvovirus B19, and the disease that it causes is erythema infectiosum, also called as the fifth disease. A child presenting with cough, coryza, conjunctivitis with bluish white ulcerations in the oral mucosa, specifically around the lower molar teeth. These are called as the complex spots. The likely agent causing the symptoms is measles virus. A child presenting with symptoms of orchitis like fever, scrotal swelling or pain in the testes, the likely agent is mumps virus. A patient presenting with right lower abdominal pain, with fever, with point tenderness, that is pseudo appendicitis, most common cause is Yersinia enterocolitica, and the other causes could be Yersinia pseudotuberculosis or Campylobacter. A patient with chronic granulomatous disease is at increased risk of catalase positive organisms and the most common organism is Staph aureus. Others include Burkholderia cepacea, Nocardia, Actinomyces, Aspergillus, Candida and so on. A patient with pneumonia who expectorates current jelly sputum, this is most likely an alcoholic patient the likely agent causing that pneumonia is Klebsiella pneumonia. If we think of atypical pneumonia, that is, you know, interstitial kind of infiltrates and a pathogen which is generally not isolatable on routine blood uh, culture media in the laboratory, the causes could be Mycoplasma pneumonia, Legionella pneumophila or Chlamydia species. 
a patient of cystic fibrosis presenting with pneumonia symptoms, the most likely agents causing this pneumonia could be either Staph aureus, a gram-positive organism which is seen as cocci in clusters, or it could be Pseudomonas aeruginosa, an oxidase-positive gram-negative rod. Pneumonia in cystic fibrosis associated with a very rapid loss of pulmonary function the likely agent causing that pneumonia is Burkholderia cypatia. Pneumonia in an HIV positive patient who has a CD4 count less than 200, the likely agent is pneumocystis erovetsi. If it's an HIV positive patient with CD4 count less than 500, and the patient has presented with pneumonia and in the sputum specimen we are seeing acid fast rods the most likely organism is mycobacterium tuberculosis if this hiv positive patient has a cd4 count less than 50 and we are seeing acid fast rods in the sputum specimen the organism causing that pneumonia is going to be Mycobacterium avium intracellular. Pneumonia in an organ transplant recipient. So generally this organism causing the pneumonia in this transplant recipient is cytomegalovirus. The most common cause of surgical site infection is Staphylococcus aureus. If we have a patient who has terminal complement component deficiency, that is C5 to C9 deficiency, this patient is at increased risk of infections with Neisseria species. Infection like cellulitis following a cat or a dog bite, the most likely organism causing the cellulitis is Pasteurella multocida. So if you like this video, please don't forget to hit the like button. And you have not subscribed yet to my channel, please subscribe and also press the bell icon so that you get notified on the next time I post another video on my channel to help you in your exams and crack microbiology and infectious re disease related questions. Bye bye.